You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. The death toll caused by Hurricane Agatha in Mexico has risen to 11, with another 33 missing and thousands of people affected with heavy rains likely to continue, according to authorities on Wednesday, 1st June. Authorities worked overnight on Tuesday the 31st of May to clear highways blocked for mudslides along Mexico's southern coast as Tropical Storm Agatha barreled down on the countries, bringing torrential rains and strong winds. Agatha made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane on Monday afternoon, touching down with 105 miles per hour winds or 169 kilometers per hour near the beach of Portata Angel on the Pacific coast. By Monday evening, Agatha weakened to a tropical storm and is expected to dissipate further by Tuesday evening, according to U.S. National Hurricane Center, which maintained a warning of the life-threatening flash floods and mudslides in Oaxaca State. Rain caused mudslides and rocks to slide into highways in Oaxaca, blocking access to at least one area in the state. Local authorities said Mexico's transportation ministry was working to clear the roads late on Monday evening. Some towns in Oaxaca were left without electricity and one transformer exploded, authorities said. Telephone lines were knocked down on Monday, forcing authorities to communicate by radio. Agatha is expected to drop a total of 10 to 16 inches or 25 to 41 centimetres of rain in Oxica, with heavy downpours in nearby states of Chipras, Veracruz, Tabasco and eastern Guerrero in NHC said. Wednesday, the highways that connects Zibaloti with the communities of Pochala and Porta Angel were opened, which was interrupted since Monday when Agatha impacted the coast of Oxica. Zupalati, the only nudist beach in the country, was severed effectively with great attraction for foreign tourism. Residents and some of the tourists were stranded as are still facing food and water shortages, as lack as fuel, electricity and telecommunications services. Dozens of houses were damaged, many of which were left unhabitable by swollen rivers and residents returned today to save some of their belongings. 